Hello, Spirit Friends and Apprentice fans. Oh, this week's task was interesting. So this week's task, the candidates had to go fishing. Um, they literally had to go to the sea where the fishies live and take some of the fishies out of the sea and then sell them to people. Only um, they, they kind of forgot about the selling to people part. Um, so they forgot in the task to actually sell the fish that they were catching. They remembered to sell the fish that they were buying from like the the market that they were going to resell for a profit, but they forgot to sell the crab that they were catching. Like, the whole reason that half the team was on a fishing trip. They forgot the crab, which... <laughs> I think is it, it's a new law. It's a new law for this apprentice team. Let's forget about the brown poo logo. And forget about the brown poo toothbrush. Now it's forgetting about crabs. And... Uh, Akshay. I am sure Akshay is a lovely, is a lovely man. Is, is probably a lovely man in real life. Oh, I don't need a, ha a hand from a pussycat. Thank you. Um, but I, I just would want to kill him. Uh, like the the arancini versus like the crab burger or the fish and chips. What a stupid idea that was like for one nobody even knows what arancini is like i did like an impartial survey nobody nobody knows what it is do you know what people don't know what it is burger people know what burger is you say to someone this is burger and they go ah oh, burger it's made of crab they go ah oh, fish burger like i don't know where this idea of making these weird italian rice ball things came from in Cornwall of all places but that was someone's bright idea and that person was Akshay. I have no idea how he's still in the process, no idea. It was such a lucky escape from him, such, such a lucky escape that like Amy didn't get taken into the boardroom for like throwing him under the bus and being like, you can be PM, I don't want to be PM but, but, but yo, you, you you would like to be by um, yes? And and I don't know, maybe she has some like spooky witch powers because he was like, yes, I want to be by um. He did not want to be by um. So they made many, many stupid decisions. Like I think of all of the stupid decisions made, the least stupid decision was the decision of the rocket and the garlic mayonnaise. I mean, it was a stupid decision, but I think on the scale of forgetting to act oh hello um forgetting to actually sell the things that weren't going to cost you anything that would have been pure profit hugest mistake buying too much garlic mayonnaise less less of a mistake um i don't know who they thought they were trying to fool like not preparing the fish properly like i just Think you know you've got to think like Gordon Ramsay. If you were doing this in like Kitchen Nightmares, um, Hell's Kitchen, sorry, would you try and get one on over over Gordon Ramsay? No, no, you wouldn't. You'd be like, oh, do you know what, Gordon? I didn't get the chance to finish preparing this one. I'm so very sorry, but the rest, the rest, are beautiful, beautifully prepared fish. I'm I'm very sorry about this one fish, and maybe, maybe. The chef would have gone, oh, you have been honest. Well, I'll still pay the full price for the rest of the fish and I'll pay a little less for that one fish. That one fish I'll pay a little bit less for. That's what they could have done had they been honest. But they weren't. They were trying to be sneaky and it just didn't work. The other team, the other team had, like, the idea of getting, like, pollock, which is a very popular fish. It's used in lots of fish and chip shops. Um... And, like, a, a lot of places use it instead of cod because it's, like, it's more sustainable and or, like, jazz. Um, 
but I think that they were quite stupid in that when they were selecting the fish to buy from the market to then resell at a higher price, they were like, let's get the stuff in season. No, no, you get the stuff in season, it's abundant, everybody has it. Everybody has it right now. You were trying to charge £28 for a £12 fish. It's just, it, it, it beggars belief sometimes when I watch The Apprentice and I see these people doing these things and I'm just, I, 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 I are you kidding me? Um, I think like in this week, things are starting to emerge, like certain candidates are starting to emerge. Um, I quite like Nick, um, not to win, <laughs> um, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, but like as a person, I quite like Nick, he's quite funny and he tries hard, even if he came up with the stupid uh, vodka lime soda idea last week. Um, uh, there's nobody in the girls really standing out for me yet except for Amy. I don't know if that's just because she's American, so, like, I remember <laughs> better, but, you know. Um, next week's task, I have the feeling, will be terrible. But, I mean, I say this every week, but... Uh, next week, they have to design a video game. Um, I'm almost certain that nobody will do the sensible thing and say, does anybody actually play video games? A lot. You know, like, I don't think they're going to do that. Because um, if you play video games a lot, then at least you sort of have an idea of how things work and uh, what games people do respond to well and what games people are like, oh, no, no, we're just like, I'll play that for five minutes, but then I'll, I'll leave it forever. And they've got to design, like, a video game and... <clears throat> From the preview clip, <laughs> they had this game called Arctic Survivor with Akshay again, Akshay, saying, um, like, there's lots of penguins in the Arctic, so confidently. No. No, you idiot. There are no penguins in the Arctic. The penguins are in the Antarctic. You want Arctic, you want polar bears, you want seals, you want terrifying prehistoric six guild sharks you want like mooses maybe like up in that area in the canada bit you know like you're not gonna find a penguin except if maybe it's at the zoo so um you know they do have the problem of being quite stupid to go against them um although i did I did think it was quite funny when, um, like, the guy, he couldn't say Akshay's name and he called him, oh, how did he say it? He said, like, Aske or, or something. He got his, like, he's got his name backwards and he couldn't say Akshay properly. And I thought that was quite funny, but nobody pointed it out. Um, also, like, what's the name with the clicking, clicking the fingers? What was that about? That was proper annoying me. I was like, stop clicking your fingers why are you clicking your fingers at everybody it's quite rude you know to do that kind of thing so um yeah so i don't have a clear favorite yet um i have some some clear like for god's sake get him out people um not my favorite task yet my favorite task is like the scavenger hunt task so looking forward to that we'll see what this particular crew uh, does. Although in The Apprentice You Are Fired, they showed a clip from one of the previous, uh, it's with the guy, I oh, can't remember his name, but he broke his arm and he had braces and he wanted to be an actor and God, I hated him in that series. But like, that's why I like watching the You're Fired things because you can see a lot of more of the person that they really are because like in tasks someone's a particular person versus the person that they are you know like in real life and in tasks someone can be very very annoying <laughs> and you can you can actually want to like like bring harm upon them because they're so annoying um you know <laughs> like actually 
<laughs> but in real life, it turns out that they're a very lovely person and that you would like to sit down and have a cup of tea with them and be like, oh, you're actually a lovely person when you're not doing um, a terrible job of this reality TV show. <laughs>